Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you can use the payroll features of QuickBooks, you must set up payroll for your company in QuickBooks. To find out how you do this, select Employees, roll down to Payroll, and then select the Turn on Payroll in QuickBooks command from the menu bar. In the window that then appears, you can evaluate the payroll plans and purchase a payroll plan through QuickBooks to begin the setup of your initial payroll data. Now, after you have purchased a payroll plan, you can set up basic payroll information within your company file by selecting Employees from the menu bar and then selecting the Payroll Setup command. You then use the QuickBooks Payroll Setup Wizard to input the information that QuickBooks will need to know in order to begin processing payroll for your company file. QuickBooks uses the tax tables that come with your payroll subscription to calculate employee payroll. QuickBooks calculates each employee's gross pay, taxes, deductions, and net pay. In QuickBooks, you can write the paycheck, record the transactions for the correct amounts, print payroll forms, and keep track of your tax liabilities. As an employer, you must subtract taxes and other deductions before issuing an employee's paycheck. Some typical paycheck deductions are federal and state withholding taxes, or income taxes, Social Security taxes, or FICA, Medicare taxes, and state unemployment insurance. You may also deduct for benefits, such as a 401k plan or contributions to your company's medical or dental plan. When you withhold Social Security, Medicare, and federal withholding taxes from employee paychecks, you must submit regular deposits of the withheld money and file quarterly forms that list the amounts withheld from each employee's paycheck. Let's review the payroll process and the steps you must complete to perform payroll in QuickBooks. So first, QuickBooks is going to need information about your company. This includes information about your federal and state ID tax numbers. You enter this information when you set up your QuickBooks company in the Easy Step interview. You can later view company information by selecting Company from the menu bar and then choosing the Company Information command. QuickBooks will also need information about your employees. Within the QuickBooks Employees list, you store general information about your employees and specific information related to payroll, such as the employee's salary or hourly rate, their filing status, the number of exemptions, and miscellaneous additions, deductions, and company contributions. Now you store payroll information that most employees have in common within employee defaults. Then whenever you have a new employee to add, you can simply enter information that's specific to that employee, such as their name, address, and so forth. Now you'll also need to enter information about your payroll items. QuickBooks maintains a payroll item list that contains items that affect the amounts on a paycheck, including company payroll expenses. When you specify that you want to use payroll, QuickBooks creates most of these payroll items for you, but you can add others if needed. You'll also need tax tables for federal, state, and local withholdings. QuickBooks uses these tax tables for payroll calculations. You get the current tax tables and keep them current when you subscribe to one of the QuickBooks payroll plans. If you choose not to subscribe to one of these plans, then you must calculate and enter payroll tax deductions manually for each paycheck. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.